Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Josephine De Silva and I'll be teaching you GCSE O level physics which has the course number 5054. Okay, the topic we'll be discussing today is mass, weight, and density. We start off with mass. Okay, if you see a person like in the diagram here, a person sitting on the weighing scale. Okay, but what is the reading giving us? 84.7 kgs. So this is not measuring the weight, it is measuring the mass of the person. So this is a common misconception that occurs nowadays is when you're stand, standing on the weighing scale, I will say I weigh 84.7 kg kgs. So kgs is measuring, actually measuring the mass of the object, which is the amount of matter or substance present in an object. It is not the weight. The weighing scale is calibrated as such that it gives us the mass of the object. Okay. So mass is a property that does not change by its location, shape or speed. That is, if you have a bag of rice, like this guard uh, rice, it has 5 kg rice. Or you have a bag of surf, which is 1.5. No matter where you take this bag of rice, it will remain the same. So whether you change the location of it, the mass does not change. The shape is changing, like a 5 kg rice bag will have a bigger shape or it will have more volume. But similarly, if you take something like a bar of soap of the same mass, it will be small in size. Okay, so the shape may change, but the amount of matter present in it will remain same. So the mass will remain same. It does not change with the speed. That is, if a mass is moving at a faster speed as compared to another object, this mass will change. No, it will remain the same. Okay, so no matter like if you look at this, these are metals. So you have one, two, and three kgs. The shape is different. Fine. If you look at this and you look at the packet of surf. The shape is different, the size is different, but the mass is the same. Okay, so uh, then again, mass is a scalar quantity because it does not have direction. I would say the mass of a, of an object is four kgs. So four is your unit kg. Uh, sorry, kg is your unit. It does not give any direction whether it's going in the east west. So it is a scalar quantity. The SI unit for mass is kilograms, but we can use smaller values like milligrams micrograms nanograms if we are measuring smaller masses like in labs and industries uh, where uh, experiments are going on or when you're measuring larger mass it came from kilograms it can go to megagrams gigagrams as well most common instruments used to measure mass small amounts of mass are your balances okay you have your beam balance like you have your electronic balance and you have balances like this if you look at the first one it is similar to what you will see at vendors in the market like your fruit voila your vegetable guys they have something similar like this it's measured on the on a uh, balance that's why it's known as beam balance this is your beam and the balancing the beam will make sure that the mass on both the sides is the same like for example if i have to measure to I have to buy two kgs of potatoes the vendor will put potatoes on one side like here suppose and he put a known mass like you'll have they have these small small masses of one kgs half kgs two kgs and so on on the other side when the beam becomes straight it balances that's your mass similarly this is also kind of beam balance this electronic balance is a more sophisticated one it's more easier to use as well and it's used to measure small quantities as well as large the calibration is done according to it like you will see it at supermarkets you see it at the gold markets where you're buying gold or silver so to measure the small amounts you use this right next we have is weight like you say weight measures the pull of gravity by the earth on each and every object it is a type of force okay force is what force is a push or a pull exerted by one object on the other so your weight is the pull of gravity so the force acting is pull what happens here is that everything is pulled towards the center of the earth, right? That is your gravity. Remember gravity, uh, Newton discovered gravity. What it was that he noticed that the apple from the tree fell straight down towards the earth. He was wondering why it didn't go right or left or in different directions. It came downwards. Then he realized that everything on the earth moved towards the center of the earth. Take care. This was your pull of gravity. It realized that everything is pulled towards the center of the earth, which is your gravity. Okay, so on the basis of that, you have weight. Weight is 
whatever mass the object is and the force exerted on that mass pulling it towards the surface is your weight. So obviously here it has a direction towards the center of the earth. So if I say something has a, has a weight of 40 newtons, 40 is your magnitude and the direction is towards the center of the earth. So it is a vector quantity. Okay. So to find weight you have a formula which is weight is equals to mg. m is your mass and g is your gravitational phase strength. Gravitational phase strength is a constant value for a particular base. Like for the earth, the gravitational phase strength is 9.81 newton per kg. That means that every 1 kg, the force acting on it is 9.81. For easier calculations, it is considered as 10 newton per kg. Mass is whatever the mass of the object is. Right? We do calculations of this later on. When you talk about weight, in the formula you have gravitational field strength so we need to understand what is gravitational field okay when you look at the earth at the surface of the earth right everything is pulling to it towards the center of the earth so the area around it around the earth which is pulling everything to the surface is your gravitational field that is the region surrounding the earth where the gravity is felt okay as you move away from the surface of the earth the pull of gravity or the force of gravity starts to become less or weaker as you go. Now to show the gravitation free sense, we use straight lines like these arrows over here on the diagram towards the center of the earth. The arrow faces inwards, right? So from the gravitation field, we have the term gravitational field strength. It measures, okay, gravitational field strength. It measures the amount of force acting per unit mass on our object. Like I said, the gravitational field strength for the Earth is fixed for 10 Newton per kg. Similarly, for a different place, we have a fixed value. Like the Moon has 1.6. Uh, other planets like Mars will have a certain value. Neptune will have another value. It depends from planet to planet. Right? For example, if you look at this, you have a person standing on the Earth and you have the person standing on the Moon. Okay? There's a little mistake here. It's actually written as kgs and not Newtons but you will understand okay so if you look at this the person is standing on the earth and if suppose he, uh, the person has a mass of 30 kgs the weight will be you'll put the mass 30 multiplied by the gravitational field strength which is 10 on the earth and you will get 300 newtons but if the same girl is standing on the moon right the, there the gravitational field strength is less which is 1.6 newton per kg that means for every 1 kg mass the force acting is 1.6 newton so there the weight will be around one fifth of the uh, weight it has on the earth okay? because of the difference in your gravitational field strength. Now we come to instruments used to measure weight. Uh, to measure weight we use a weighing scale like you said but again it's calibrated in kgs but you can even have them in newtons as well. But the basic one which is used is your spring balance. The spring balance has the calibrations again see in newtons. But it's also given in terms of grams or in terms of mass as well. So spring balance works on the principle of how much mass is put on your spring. It will extend and move further down. Okay. The calibration of the spring is done by using different springs. And the more hard the spring is, it is less sensitive to changes in weight. The more soft the spring it is, it is more sensitive. So soft springs are used for smaller uh, ranges, while hard springs are used for more larger ranges. Okay. Like again, I said, it depends on your gravitational free strength. So 10 Newton per kg, that's how we say 1 Newton is 100 grams. That's the calibration in your spring balance. Right. So we end here for today. Thank you for listening and hope to see you all next time.